Hello grandchildren, it's like March of 2018 and it's been a while since I did one of these, which is dumb because I think one of the last ones that I made was me saying that I'm going to make more of these. I went back to America over Christmas break and I got to see my family and Skylar um, and tomorrow Skylar's actually coming to Australia, so that's uh, really cool. But what I wanted to tell you guys about is how hard making movies is. I, I mean, I know every job that anyone has is going to be hard and stressful and I'm probably happier doing this than I was anywhere else that I've worked so far. I'm on my last semester of school right now, so we're working on our major projects. These are the biggest films that we've made so far and there's like the most pressure on them and we've also had the least amount of time to actually make them. This is Minx. It's uh, Sean and Kate's cat. This is my friend. I don't think I've told you guys about him before, actually. I can't think of when I would have. He, he doesn't give a shit. I went back to school late with the shortest amount of time that I've ever had to try to make a film, and I had no idea what my story was even going to be. Like, I had a few ideas, but most of them were just awful. And this has all had to happen at the same time that I'm having this, like, epiphany that I'm actually awful at writing. It's a thing that I'm realizing is one of my weakest skills now that I've been at film school. And, um... It, I think that's good. I think that's really good to realize when you're bad at something, but also the worst possible time uh, to realize you're bad at something is when you have the least amount of time to do that thing. That's actually one of the reasons that I haven't been making journal entries is because I've just been so stressed out about like needing to do so much. I'm trying to finish my last two projects because all the actors are getting really angry about not having anything yet, which is totally understandable, but it also takes re a really long time to make a movie. Uh, so I f feel like they would know that at this point. Every single teacher that we have has been telling us that this has to be our best film, that we have put everything we have into it, and this is going to be the film that gets us jobs. We, we had one teacher that told us, and I think this is pretty good advice, but he said that this film should be a film that we're okay with being our last film that we ever make. And I'm like, <laughs> uh, I don't have any time to do it. Like, I'm literally filming in like uh, two and a half weeks or something from right now. <laughs> like everyone else has spent months writing their films and I've spent the last couple months just trying to figure out what my film's even going to be about. I had, I had no idea and I was so stressed out and I just went to the beach and I sat there for like a couple hours and it was actually a really beautiful beach and I ended up coming with a new idea that I finally like stuck with that I think is kind, pretty kind of decent. Uh, it's not terrible, at least. So now finally, way later in the game than anyone else in my class, have a script concept that's, like, good enough, and I, I, I just feel like I have way less time than everybody else to actually figure out how to write my script. And, and I film in three weeks. I film in three weeks. Like, three weeks, and then I'm going to be filming. I don't even have actors yet. It's like, usually we should have a script locked off, like, months before we film. And I have three weeks, and I just kind of figured out what my script is even about. So now uh, I'm trying to cast and uh, nobody's even applying to my films. You know, I feel like I like ending journals with like something that I learned or something positive, but I don't even know what that is right now. I'm just so stressed out. I mean, I'll probably think of something later, but I guess it's interesting for you though, probably being able to watch your grandfather be really stressed out about stuff. Skyler's coming here tomorrow to Australia. Uh, that, that's really exciting. Uh, we've been dating for like three years, which is a, a, a pretty substantial amount of time. And uh, I, I missed her a lot while I've been here. I know that there's probably people who have it way worse, but uh, I am not one of those people. So this is the most intense thing that I've ever experienced. I'm across the world from my girlfriend for like, I will be for like six or seven months. But that doesn't matter. I'm just going to ignore the scary things that happen in the future for right now and focus on the fact that I get to see her tomorrow. And that's exciting. And we're going to go try to find a kangaroo and a koala. I've never seen a koala. I saw a kangaroo once, but I've never seen a koala. So we're going to go try to find a koala. I don't even know if it's possible near Sydney, but we're going to try. Anyway, long story short, um, I'm just really stressed out. And I haven't done one of these in a while, so I figured I'd just vent. <sighs> anyway, grandchildren... Um, if you see me anytime in the near future, <sighs> Ooh. Uh, if you see me anytime in the near future, grandchildren, I don't know if I've said this one before, but we should watch Jurassic Park. And if I've said it before, we should watch it again because it's one of my favorite movies. It's like my favorite movie. So we should watch Jurassic Park. Um, God, I hope I can make a movie as good as Jurassic Park one day. That's my dream. That's my goal. I just, if I can make a movie as good as Jurassic Park, um, I can die happy. 
Anyway, grandchildren, I have so much work to do and emails to send to people and actors to deal with. Uh, I'll see you guys next week, hopefully. I'll just say next week for now and see if I can do that. I'll probably forget. Bye.